Um, Coach, my question for, is for you, and it concerns Brianna Stewart. Yeah. On a team packed with talent, with so much talent, Brianna Stewart has established herself as an MVP contender, perhaps even the favorite. So I want to ask, what does Brianna do that you know separates her from the rest of the downright historic talents on this team? Perhaps even something that wouldn't show up to perhaps the casual viewer or fan. Uh, well, where... That question was for Coach, sorry. Yeah, that's... Um, look... You know, to me, she is the MVP. And she put 40 and 10 up today. Um, but it, it's not just the scoring and the rebounding. It's the impact that she has on every, play, every player on this and in this organisation with what she brings. It's her leadership, you know, how she's got the will to win, how she can pull people along with her too um, to have a common goal. Um, you know, she plays, she plays at both ends. You know, she's got three layers of scoring. She plays at both ends. Her defence was amazing tonight, okay? And, and it, I could go on and on, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm just like, now I'm a fan because it's like, I mean, that's amazing. Just what she's been able to achieve now with the, the scoring uh, record, that's pretty impressive because Diana Tracy is a wonderful shooter. But I think um, you've seen what uh, Stewie can do here and just her will to win. Um, she's she's amazing. So really, really proud of her. Really, really happy that she's uh, wearing the liberty across her chest. <laughs> Absolutely. And Brianna, for you, when it comes to that scoring record, what did, of your many, many, many achievements, what does that one mean to you? And what did it mean for it to come in a win that counted a little bit very well toward the standings as well, allowing you to keep pace with Vegas, even if that was a secondary goal? Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's the primary goal is we want to make sure that we win this game and I did whatever I could to, to help the team win. Um, I have this back and forth feeling with the scoring record because anytime I'm in the same limelight as D, it's like it's amazing just because what she's done in her career and what she continues to do. Um, but obviously it's more games. So more games is more points. And um, I think as the we have 40 game seasons and we have, you know, we continue to build off that, there's going to be a lot of records that are broken. Appreciate your time and insight, all three. You say travels home. Jackie. Good evening, everyone. Congrats on the win. I want to start with Stewie. I'm curious if you could explain to us how you made the calculation in your head tonight that your team needed you to do what you did, and that was put up the numbers that you did. Um, I mean, I think my mindset is the same going into every game. Uh, it wasn't like, oh, this is the game. Um, but just continuing to, to be aggressive. Um, I like shooting here. I like it. I'm just, it's just a, a comfortable feeling, comfortable gym for a shooter. Um, so was was confident in that. And, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, we're top two. We know that. But we still want to win. We still want to continue to get better. And Dallas is, is a tough team. They gave us a tough one tonight. Obviously, they beat us at home. And um, they're going to continue to to do great things throughout the rest of this regular season and into the playoffs. And Benajia, for you, I mean, Sandy was just saying that um, what stands out about Brianna is how she's able to pull her teammates along when it comes to her will to win. So I, I guess, how do you feel like Brianna pulls you along to, to go out and fight through what was a grinded out type game tonight? Yeah. <clears throat> I think just seeing her go out there and give her all, you know, it just it's just she leads by example and it makes you want to do the same thing. We're constantly talking, you know, before, during and after the games to just see what we can do to to make everything better for the team. And she's just the ultimate leader. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Miles. Hi, all. Congratulations on the win. Benaja, this team has had several bend but don't break games this season where the defense needs to stop and you guys consistently finish those possessions. How much confidence and trust do you have in one another when the game is on the line like it was again tonight? <clears throat> um, I mean, we, we, we know what's at stake, you know, and so we know at the end of the game who's going to do what. You know, the, the coaches do a great job of preparing us, so just knowing our KYP and just making sure that we're getting it done. Thank you. And Brianna, this was your fourth 40 point performance of the year. And yes, I know, like you said, there are more, uh, more games, but you did pass DT for that record. And you're on your way to the highest scoring average of your career in your first year with the Liberty organization. How have your teammates contributed to your offensive success throughout this season? 
Um, I mean, I wouldn't be here without my teammates, and and that's great. really it. The way that we have come together, um, really since May, kind of put the pieces together. A lot of new people, a lot of people that have been here before, um, and they continue to put me in position to to succeed. Whether it's B or Slu or Sab or JJ, really, um, our entire team and. When I'm when I'm going, when I'm hot, they just continue to to kind of give me that energy, and and I ride off of that. Thank you. Safe travels home. We'll go to Lucas and then finish with Brian. Hey all, congrats on the win. Uh, first one's for Stewie. You were used a lot tonight as kind of a, a screen <coughs> and pop, a lot of that stuff. How much do you think? Um, using you as a screener opens the floor up, I guess, for the whole team and the offense in general. Um, I think it was really the game plan. Um, Dallas switches me a lot. So either it gives the person who's handling the ball a downhill drive to the basket or, you know, able to, to kind of pop out and um, get what I want off the switch. But just continuing to read it, you know, also realizing that if I'm open, I'm going to shoot it, but continue to attract others and, and make, make plays for the rest of my team. Thank you. And then this one's for Coach. Just, is there any thought to, okay, we played 37 out of 40 games in the regular season. Uh, we want to keep some stuff maybe hidden for the playoffs and continuing to kind of implement new wrinkles, or is every game just we're going to throw our best out there? Oh, yeah, we want to we want to play in the right way. You want to play, you know, um, go out there and compete and play well, and that gives you confidence and you're focused on a goal. Um you know, I don't think if you're not practicing it now, I don't think you're just going to wing it in the playoffs. <laughs> you're going to stay consistent with what you do. Uh, that's what I, you know, that's how we are. So we're just going to keep building on what we, we've been doing. And then, you know, we have two games to go. We'll decide on how we want to play that. But we still want to keep flow. I think that's important for us. I appreciate it. Safe travels. We'll finish with Brian. And the lady in the room. Hi, everybody. Um, Benajah, after halftime, Arike Agumbawale only went one for seven from the field, and you were really able to disrupt her on that final possession. Just how do you think the team was able to sort of like get back to playing Liberty defense after halftime? Um, we knew that we weren't as aggressive as we needed to be in the first half. And so just going into the into the um to the locker room, that's something that we talked about. How when we are disruptive, when we are aggressive, you know, it makes a it makes a huge difference. And so that's just something that we focused on in that second half. And at the end of the at the end of the game, we knew what was on the line. You know, if we're if we're not aggressive, if we're just passive and allow people to do what they want, what she's capable of. So it was just more about, you know, game on the line, we need to be aggressive, we need to understand tendencies and get a stop. Thank you. And, and for Sandy, with a game like this, it feels <coughs> almost like a sort of playoff tune-up, for lack of a better term. I guess, what do you think you'll sort of take away from this game as you go into the, <coughs> the last two home games before the playoffs start next week? Uh, is knowing that, um, you know, we can fight back under regardless of how we played in the first half, you know, making the adjustments. This is a team, I think we've grown in that area. Um, you know, we can learn from our mistakes quickly and we can refocus and, and get it done. Um, and, you know, once we're all on the same page in the closed fist, I think that's when, you know, we have the most success. So we're just resilient and we handle adversity pretty well and that's what we're going to have to do in the playoffs. Thank you. And Brianna, um, Sandy had mentioned the great defense you played, and after halftime, you got a lot of the matchup on Satsu Sabli. Just how do you think your defensive versatility helps unlock a lot of what the Liberty looks to do on both sides of the ball, well, on defense? Yeah, I mean, Satsu had uh, a great game, and she's tough, and I know her from Turkey and, you know, a, a lot of WNBA, but um, the ability to, to kind of guard multiple defenders, and especially B&I in a lot of actions, were able to to switch or you know not over help and um, continuing to use that to our advantage because we have the size we have the the length and um, really the strength to to kind of handle most most players in this league defensively and uh, just continuing to make sure our chemistry is great thank you guys great thanks everyone this lady wants to okay, chat we'll, this lady we'll take one more i was like i got one yeah. for each um, oh we, we just have time for one just have one i'll do a okay. one then Imagine after uh, you just had your episode on like uh, liberty unlocked um premiere so my question is your mom and her prime you and your prime who wins one-on-one -on -one? <clears throat> you know <laughs> 
I'm going to give it to my mom. You know, that's that's somebody that I look up to and I wouldn't be who I am, where I am without her. So, you know, I just, I just say she, she got the one-on-one.